In a recent live stream, one of my subscribers sent in a super chat, shout out to the Ultimate Kahuna, about the tips and things that I use that have grown my channel in the last year. I was really excited to receive the super chat, and as the conversation went on, everybody told me, hey, you should do this as a video. So, as this is, this was created on my live stream from my audience asking, and we went in and did a whole bunch of things. We created the name live on the air, we got the tag lists, and I'm gonna show you guys right here what I do and what I correlate directly to my channel's growth in the last year. For those of you who are unaware, this channel has been around since 2018. Now that is really important, and the reason that that's important is because for many years it wasn't growing, and I couldn't figure it out. Everybody likes to focus a lot on the YouTube algorithm, but the one thing that I can correlate directly to this channel's growth is my audio quality. Now this is something that I've known for a long time, being a musician, sorry, my microphone is sinking. Let's fix that here, talking about audio quality, guys. The one thing that I know as a musician is the better quality of audio you have to put in, the better quality you're going to get out. Do not rely on some computer program to mix and master a room that's got an air conditioner blowing into it and a whole bunch of things. Rely on good audio quality going in. The first thing that I will tell you is I would not recommend any condenser microphone to anybody out there that's under $250. And that's just the microphone. There are some decent USB microphones out there that you can buy for less than 100 and they're okay. I mean, most people have used the Blue Snowball. In fact, it was so good that that's why a lot of people use it. But if you guys are saying, well, I have a certain amount of budget, Royce, what would you recommend? I'll recommend to you what I used. This here is the Shure SM57 with a $50 pop filter, okay? This microphone has been around for decades and is a workhorse in the music industry. In fact, this one's designed more to pick up instruments and whatnot, but with this pop filter on it, helps out a lot with voice. It's voiced brother, the SM58, stands at the presidential podium and has been used on more albums than you are probably even aware of, and even live settings as well. This is the SM57. This is an XLR dynamic microphone. It's fairly directional too. For those of you who do not have the ability to do a full sound setup, I would not recommend a condenser to you, and I would not recommend an omni-directional microphone. You want something like this. You want something that where it's pointed is the sound it catches up. Similar to my Aston Stealth here that I upgraded to. It's pointed in this direction and if I get off too much, it starts picking up less and less sound. For those people out there who maybe have noisy houses, I have four kids, dogs, cats, things are constantly exploding in my house. This is the microphone that I trusted. You're going to need to get an XLR cable, which those can be relatively inexpensive, and you're also going to need a USB audio interface. There are many of them out there. I would highly recommend the Focusrite Scarlet Solo, okay? Or the equivalent in the modern day, they've kind of changed the branding. The Focusrite Scarlet Solo is a fantastic, inexpensive way to Take this sound that you have here and send it right into your computer. So sound quality, and I noticed this, the second that I upgraded my sound quality to being more of a quiet room, and I told the kids and the dogs and the wife, hey guys, chill, just be quiet while I do my videos. My videos started skyrocketing. I can directly relate the growth of my channel in this last year to my sound quality. So the SM57, an XLR cable, that's decent, okay? Don't buy the cheapest XLR cable. And I'll leave links down in the description below to the Amazon pages for what I recommend. And the Scarlett Focus, or the Focusrite Scarlett Solo. I will leave all those links down in the description so you guys can work on your audio as well. The next thing that I highly recommend to any creator out there who's under a thousand subscribers is a program that I have used and it acts as a Google Chrome extension. And in fact, most large creators use a program like this or this program. It's called 
Tube Buddy. That's right, YouTube, but Tube Buddy. Now, Tube Buddy is a website that was designed to help creators understand the YouTube algorithm. It's absolutely insane. The amount of videos out there every day, I forget the statistics off the top of my head, but it's something like billions of hours worth of videos are being posted every day, all the time. The fact that you came across this channel here is a miracle in and of itself, but there are things that you can do to help. TubeBuddy is an amazing tool, and for creators that are under a thousand subscribers, they give you a fantastic deal. It's like $4 a month. It helps you explore your keywords. It helps you know what analytics are. It tracks the hype around things, so you can actually go and see, and I did this on my live stream to show my viewers how relevant some of the topics are that I talk about on this channel. I talk more about indie comics, indie authors, indie games, things like that. That's just kind of where I'm at. So for those of you out there wondering, what is a tool that's going to help me? How do I know if my videos work? How do I know if my titles work? TubeBuddy, if you're under a thousand subscribers, it is a phenomenal deal. And I can directly relate the growth of my channel to TubeBuddy as well. The third and final thing I will talk about in this video, and there are a bunch of other things that I have on this subject. So if you guys like what I'm saying, go down, subscribe below like this video and ring the notification bell and then comment and tell me that you'd like to see more videos like this. But the third and final thing that we're gonna talk about today is you, your presentation. I do always recommend having something in your background if you're the on-camera type of personality like I am. Having something in your background to be visually pleasing for the people who are watching the videos, although many just listen, which is why audio is most important, but having something in the background like this is crazy. Now, if you've got those decent microphones, a good XLR cable, and that good audio input that we talked about in the beginning of this video, but you come out and you go, hey, everybody, um, I'd like to talk with you. Uh, I, You know, I was driving the other day, and I just, you know, there's this thing I wanted to talk about, and it's this channel. His name's A Drink With Crazy. The guy's, you know, A Drink With Crazy. He's, you know, he's, I don't know. I don't like him. He's kind of an idiot. People aren't going to listen to you. Okay, your presentation matters. Now, I am the off the cuff kind of guy. Believe it or not, if this is your first time here on the channel, none of this is scripted. There's nothing back, there's a Bowflex back there that I haven't used for years, which I should probably start using. None of this is scripted, but that's my personality. I have the gift of gab. There are a lot of people out there who will tell you script, 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 script. Ladies and gentlemen, just talk in a way that shows people you're excited. Be excited. So that example that I just gave of a guy who's like, hey, you know, it's a drink with crazy kind of, what if you came out, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk with you about this channel. Guy's an absolute idiot. He thinks drinking beer on his channel and talking about all this indie stuff with that horribly gaudy wall behind him is actually going to garner support from him. A drink with crazy is the biggest moron on the planet. And here's why. Let's get into it. Be excited. Okay? You know how excited you get when you're watching sports in your house or when this new video game comes out or when you, the day before you get married or whatever. That excitement, bring that to your videos. Whether you're reading off of a script or you're like me and you have the gift of gab, let people know how excited you are to talk about your topic. Because if you're not excited about it, how can anyone else be? So for right now, those are the three tips in this video. Good audio, tube buddy, and be excited. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for checking this out. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.